Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So you can see that gold is now is absolutely unstoppable. Of course, we're really happy that it's is going on, just because it confirms our long-term view that we have called even for the recent two years to buy gold, just because these events that we see right now, something of this kind was actually suggested just based on overall political situation and problems in the United States economy. But unfortunately, this uh, unstoppable performance and uh, actually ex impact of the external factors makes really difficult the process of the trading. So you could buy gold physically in the way of the coins, some bullion, so it's holding in your uh, amount of your assets uh, to, to preserve the, 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 the value uh, of your assets. But if you're trading, also, especially on intraday charts, it just might be the nightmare for making decision for position taking. And because technical factors, as you see, currently is definitely taking the backseat. Besides, uh, another problem here is that although United States uh, would like to stay aside and not be involved in this conflict, you could see by the recent events uh, that slowly, but they are still are involving right now. So you already see the news today that uh, some military base of the United States in Syria have been bombed. Some rockets have flied above the warship, uh, United States warship. So it's uh, currently some, some, some uh, secondary signs, but they're just showing the direction, the major process of the events. And this is of course not very good. And from that standpoint of view, it might, might could could mean that we we could not get some moderate rel relief on the gold market anytime soon. Following the technical analysis, you could see that market actually has reached the target that yesterday we have uh, said that it seems to be too far. But for the gold market, it was not too far, as market already is going around 1975 major resistance, and it seems that we have to increase the potential scale pattern so initially we thought that might be this head and shoulders but now we have to consider some larger pattern so it should be this head and shoulders so left shoulder head stand to right shoulder currently it's unclear on what background the right shoulder should be formed but still from technical point of view this now it looks in this way on the fallout time from chart now we keep an eye on our xop so we specified yesterday 1988 but almost so once market will reach it, let's see what will happen. So in current environment, guys, uh, you, you will have to make your own decision concerning the taking the position. We just inform you on the technical background and what is reasonable to do from the technical point of view. But you could take more risk and trying to buy gold just because of the overall geopolitical situation. It carries big risk, so possible sudden reversal that you cannot control the factors. But at the same time, If you just uh, follow this approach, you probably could get this upper deck. So based on recent background, and even yesterday, you can see that although we thought it might be some passion, let's watching for a passion. Once again, it was the triangle market has jumped up. So currently, once again, would not have any bearish patterns uh, for considering uh, considering pullback on the gold market. At the same time, you could see how important to have the passion on your back if you consider taking the position in opposite direction because it could save a lot of your money so you can see that we talked about the possible hand shorts and so on so but it has not been formed and we just haven't got any chance for taking the short position so currently from the technical point of view you could do nothing but just wait if you of course do not want to just take in the position by some other reasons not the technical ones geopolitical political or something of that sort uh, but from technical point of view, uh, this is absolutely clear situation that you stand at the bot at resistance. And uh, with this situation, it's 
technical points here, you can't take the short position. No, sorry, uh, long position. So uh, that's actually our view on the gold market. Let's see that maybe the overall uh, performance will increase in the scale and um, on the daily chart and the intraday chart, it's difficult to find something, but maybe if we consider the weekly daily backgrounds, maybe here we will get uh, some ability for taking the position. It's just because currently market taking the shape of a really big engulfing patch on the monthly and weekly chart. And that could, uh, well, if it will act accordingly, some pauses and reliefs in the, any conflict could happen. And from that standpoint, retracement sooner or later might happen. And, uh, probably we should get something interesting for to consider the taking the position on the gold. But for now, especially today is Friday, and then uh, we all, I already talked about this. I do not like to hold positions over the weekend because you know what has happened two weeks ago, and actually it has happened right in the weekend in the Middle East. Um, today hardly we could do something on the gold market, so let's keep watching.